So Nintendo finally had their Nintendo Switch conference yesterday, and I swear to God, I've tried to make this video like five or six times, so I've been having PC trouble, but I thought we'd kind of go down on a rundown of just the basic things that they said in case you don't feel like watching an hour-long video on Nintendo's channel. So I'll just go ahead and summarize the majority of what they said here, starting with the most important thing, the price point. So this thing is launching at $299. US dollars, which is basically just 300 bucks. So 300 bucks was 50 bucks more than we were expecting it to be, uh, but it's got some pretty cool new features that they showed off as well. Uh, first, they shut off the tech in the actual controller, so it's got a little VR scanner thing. Uh, it's also got some motion controls, so it is going to function as your Wiimote if you do decide to play it that way. Um, you know, for various games, they shut off, you know, Mario Kart with motion controls instead of with the, uh, you know, instead of with the normal, you know, joystick. So if you did want to play it just like the old, you know, Nintendo Wii version of Mario Kart, you definitely can. Um, so the tech in there is pretty cool. The vibration is pretty cool. They showed off like, you know, you can feel that there's like weighted, uh, you know, like a cup being put ice cubes and water into it. So that's neat. I'd like to see it actually in action. Um, they did announce some other things about the thing like the online service. It's not going to have a dedicated online service in the system or something like that. From my understanding, it's all on your smartphone, uh, which is strange, but uh, it is going to have a subscription service just like Xbox and PlayStation, so online will not be free come the fall of 2017. Um, the system is not region locked, so that's pretty cool. You can get all your Japanese games and everything right, right from the shop. It's got a 32 gigabyte uh, internal storage that can be upgraded with micro SDs, um, as well as uh, our, you know, we basically have it confirmed that we're going to be using, uh, you know, cartridges and stuff for the uh, for the actual games themselves. Uh, the screen is 720p, but it does uh, get a little bit of a power boost when docked. Yada yada yada. They showed off a lot of stuff. They confirmed a lot of stuff that we basically already know about the handheld version and about the different Joy-Con grip things you can get and about the different controller types. Um, they shot off some multiple colors which is pretty cool uh, so you're gonna be able to get different colors for the Joy-Cons. This thing is coming out on March 3rd uh, alongside uh, five launch games one of which is Zelda so yes we are getting Zelda on launch which is pretty dope. The other launch games are pretty terrible I mean we have a general party game, uh, we have Bomberman, uh, and that's actually all I can think of off the top of my head, but we will be getting the new Mario game, Mario Odyssey, uh, which looks pretty cool, has them going around all different kinds of locations with a hat with eyes on it, interesting. Um, there is also, of course, Mario Kart 8 coming back, Splatoon 2 coming to the, to the Switch as well. Um, Skyrim was confirmed, we don't know if it's the special edition or the regular version. I would assume the special edition since they did just remaster that. Uh, it does have amiibo support as well as uh, some other cool neat features. Uh, but you know, all in all that's pretty much all they showed. Uh, wasn't that crazy of a conference really. A lot of cringy jokes, lots of uh, Japanese shtick, but it was uh, pretty interesting seeing this thing in action and it does appear to be stronger than the Wii U in, in their little showcase they were doing the Mario Kart 8 they did confirm that the game runs 60 frames 1080p at all times whereas the Wii U did have a bit of a dynamic thing going on so that does mean we're getting a little bit of a performance boost in some of these remastered or reported titles which is pretty interesting uh, Suda got up on stage as well as a couple other uh, you know guest people like the uh, guy from EA to talk about some new games third-party support that's coming I know we were all worried about third-party support, but um, you know Suda's is making a game for the console a new no more heroes game as well as uh, EA's bringing some some of their titles over they, they did announce FIFA so we're getting FIFA on the switch as well we know that 2k uh, 18's coming to the switch we know a couple other third-party games are coming over there's a couple Square titles that are in development as well as uh, Dragon uh, uh, Dragon Quest Heroes 1 and 2 coming over as well. So th this thing does look like it's going to be getting some third party support which makes me definitely very happy um, playing some of these games on the go is what I'm mostly looking forward to. I know that a lot of you are going to use it as mainly as a console but I'm more of a on the go type of guy. Uh, you know Vita 3DS is kind of more my thing. So having a dedicated console that, uh, you know, is able to run like real games, that's going to be pretty great. So 
Anyways, they did show off some more stuff. Nothing really crazy else happened, though. We basically touched all the points. I mean, we're getting this thing in March. <laughs> March 3rd, to be exact, is going to cost us $300. Um, the only other thing I think I should mention is that the accessories are quite expensive. Uh, the, the system does come with two Joy-Cons and a grip, so you can have one full controller, or if you split the Joy-Cons up into two, like a lot of people decided to do, um, then you, uh, you know, you, you definitely, you know, technically have two controllers on launch, but it comes with the two Joy-Cons, left and one left, one right, and the grip in the middle. Um, each Joy-Con individually costs 40 bucks, and the connecting piece is 30 so it'll cost you $110 for a full Joy-Con controller, or $70 for the Pro Controller, which they did show off a little bit as well. Right, either way you look at it though, definitely um, more expensive than most game console controllers. I think that has to do with all the tech inside of it. I think if they dropped the motion controls and all that nonsense, we probably could have got a 250 console with normal price controllers, but hey, we're not here to talk about that, we're just here to recap what they what they discussed at the conference itself. Some of these games do look kind of promising. Um, the other one I'm saving, you know, was saving to talk about is ARMS, because I'm not sure how I feel about it. It is motion controls, but it seems to be done right this time. I, I can't say much until I see more gameplay, but what they showed off was pretty cool. It seems to be like a fighting game, but with like stretchy arm people. Sounds weird, but it's very classic Nintendo. Um, the, the trailer for it was actually pretty cool. I mean, it's weird, but it, it was pretty cool. I, I, it got me a little hype, not gonna lie. Uh, so that, that looks pretty cool. It's gonna be a full price game though, so I'm gonna have to wait for a price drop on that, because there's no way I'm spending 60 bucks on that. But, you know, other than port, you know, ports of Wii U games, like I'm sure we're gonna have Smash, they, they announced like Xenoverse 2 and showed a bunch of other like indie titles and stuff that's coming over. That's a pretty uh, pretty standard thing. I was a little disappointed by the lack of games at launch. We are only gonna have the five. They didn't talk about virtual console support. They didn't talk about any of that stuff. So we're really just gonna have to wait and see when it comes to a lot of this stuff. Um, but if you watched the Nintendo Switch conference, let me know what you guys think uh, thought about it because I'd love to hear what your opinions are. I might not get this at launch. I'm tempted to pre-order. Pre-orders are still available, but I might not get it at launch. I'm not 100% sure about what I'm gonna do with this. If I do, it's basically going to be only for Zelda uh, at this point, and whatever virtual console releases they have. Um, oh, oh, wait, wait a minute, wait, wait one moment. I forgot about one of the most important things. So the online support, yes, it's going to cost us money now, but um, the, the the caveat to that is we are getting one free game every month. Now the the difference in that is that the free game we're getting is going to be from either the Nintendo or the Super Nintendo. It will have online support for those uh, titles that have the multiplayer type you know, business going on. But the thing that kind of sucks, there is there is a bit of a you know a but in there is that these uh, these games these games that we get for a month that we only get them for a month. It's not like Nintendo or Microsoft where you get the game. Or multiple games and you can play them for as long as you have the online service for now these games will be forcibly taken out of your library once the month trial is up essentially which is kind of a bummer uh, yes you know we, we already get four free games a month basically on PlayStation and Xbox and so they're cutting the amount of games by three and letting us not keep them I don't know seems a little weird I don't know but essentially the games that they shot off look cool enough the game, the, the system itself has functionality and is going to be fun to use. It's a full console on the go, which is what the Vita wanted to be and what I think a Vita 2 could be. But with, uh, you know, just with the uh, Switch, it's, it's, it's happening. It's happening in two months. So let me know, are you guys excited for this? Are you guys going to be pre-ordering? I haven't made up my mind yet, but still a little bit not sure about this. The Mario Odyssey game is coming holiday. There's some other cool games announced as well, but just not, not much at launch, so I'm not sure. But let me know what you guys think down below, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Uh, I definitely want to hear what you guys think about the Switch. We've been dying to hear more information, so we finally got it. Please let me know. Uh, but I'll see you guys in the next one. Stay classy, guys. Peace.